Beauty Saga. I'm Parisa Saga, and today's video is a tutorial on how I got the look I'm wearing right here. So if you want to see how I got this Blue Lagoon inspired makeup, just please keep watching. Okay, I'm gonna start this look out with sunscreen. I'm trying to wear sunscreen every single day this summer. It is such a strange struggle for me. Next, I'm going in with the Hard Candy. This is the new brightening setting spray. It's got rose water in it and vitamin C and it smells amazing and it's really good for setting makeup, but it's also an awesome primer. So I've been using this one a lot, I love it. Going in with an OG favorite, this is the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. I have not used this primer in a while, I wanted to break it back out and see if I still love it as much as I did. Like with all my primers recently, I've been pushing it into the skin with a dampened sponge in all my problem areas, and I've noticed my foundation has just been like wearing and looking so much better, I love doing this. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation today. I wear the shade Warm Nude, and I'm spreading that out all over my face with the e.l.f. foundation brush. And then I'm gonna go in with the dampened Eco Tools sponge and just blend that all out. It blended out so easily, it's awesome. And of course, I'm taking some down my neck to blend the darker foundation in with my fake tan. I'm gonna do some cream contouring with the Jordana Sculpt and Go stick. I use the shade light. I really love the tone of it. I just carve out those cheekbones and I do a little bit of cream contouring right on my nose. And then going back in with the Eco Tool sponge, I'm just gonna blend all that out so it looks seamless and beautiful. Using Milani's eyeshadow primer, which is the best thing since sliced bread, I'm gonna spread that all over my eyes to make sure my eyeshadow doesn't crease later in the day. And then I'm setting that with the Wet n Wild pressed powder in warm light, and I'm really like pushing it in with that e.l.f. tapered brush. Going in with the Carly Bible Deluxe Edition palette, I'm taking the two mauve shades and I'm going to put that in my crease. So I'm using a Wet n Wild eyeshadow brush and I'm building most of the color on the outside, but I am bringing it all the way in as I blend it out. Using the lavender shade from the NYX Brights palette, I'm really just going underneath the first transition color and really purpling it up. Then I'm taking that beautiful like blue teal color and with the Eco Tools eyeshadow brush, I am packing that all over my lid. Going back into the Carly Bible palette, I'm taking that deepest plum shade and deepening up my outer V with it. Using the NYX Dark Circle Concealer in medium, I am color correcting my atrocious under eye circles and blending that out with the Real Techniques sponge. Next is Tarte Shape Tape for concealer proper. I'm spreading it out in the triangle shape underneath my eyes. And I'm going to use the same like little mini miracle eraser sponge from Real Techniques to blend it all out so it looks seamless. I'm setting my under eyes with the Besame Brightening Vanilla Rose Powder. And then I'm gonna take the Cody Air Spun in Naturally Neutral and set the rest of my face with it. Moving on to contouring, I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette in Dulce de Leche, and I'm gonna just really carve out the face shape I wish God had given me. Using the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, I'm gonna go in and just warm up my entire face. I love the way this bronzer looks on the skin. It's just stunning. For liner, I'm gonna go in with the NYX Epic Ink Liner. I absolutely love the brush on this. It makes doing wings. So much easier, so I decided to do a wing for this look today, and uh, as you can see from my face here in a second, I was like, yeah, I did a perfect wing. How am I ever gonna match the other side? So after getting my wings even, I'm gonna go in with that beautiful blue color from the NYX Bright palette again and run that all along the lash line. And then for the outer third, I'm putting some of that plum from the Carly Bible palette just on that outer third. Taking a second to marvel at how even I got those wings on my hooded eyes. Now I'm gonna go in with the Koki. This is the Velvet Smooth Eyeliner in Champagne for my waterline. For mascara, I'm gonna use the new L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. 
quickly curling my lashes and then applying this mascara to my top. Almost paradise, we're knocking on heaven's door. Anyway, I'm gonna use the telescopic carbon black mascara and feebly attempt to fool people into thinking I have bottom lashes. For falsies, I'm gonna use the Kiss Lash Couture in the style Gala. For highlight, I'm gonna use the NYX Duo Chromatic Illuminating Powder in Twilight Tint. I'm brightening up the inner corner of the eye and of course going under my brow with it. Then for blush, I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild, the Hot Pink Fergie one. This is an oldie but a goodie. I love this blush, blending it up into my contour. For highlighting my cheeks, I'm gonna use a different NYX Duo Chromatic. This is the Lavender Steel one. It's this beautiful like lavender highlighter that has a hot pink Duo Chromatic shift and I just think it pairs so well with the blush. To set this look, I'm gonna use the new Hard Candy Sheer Envy Luminous Setting Spray. And I'm basically going to drown in it. <laughs> I'm gonna use one of my favorite tricks, which is to take a damp sponge and just really like pat that setting spray in. I think it helps to take away any powdery look that the skin might have. And last but certainly not least, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Matte Stick in Tea Rose. I'm starting off by lining my lips with it and then I'm going to fill them in with this moussey, beautiful, Tea Rose lip color. Okay, and this is the final look. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe if you are not already. I'm on Instagram, I'm on Snapchat, I'm on Twitter, and I have a Facebook page. It's at The Beauty Saga for all social media. Thank you so much for watching, and I really hope I'm going to see you on my next video.